Alright, so Niantic just announced the February Community Day of 2021 and the backlash is absolutely catastrophic. Like, this is the biggest backlash for a Community Day I've ever seen. There's definitely a lot of miscommunications happening between Niantic and the community and I think a lot of players are just extremely disappointed. And yeah, there's a lot of good reasons for that, but I do think that there's a couple of things to actually look for to with this community day and uh, yeah that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video so without further ado let's get right into it And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today I'm going to be talking about the February Community Day. Niantic recently put out a blog post as well as a very disliked tweet talking about what the next Community Day Pokemon is going to be. They announced what exclusive moves it's going to be getting, they announced how it's going to go down, and of course all of the bonuses as well. And uh, to be honest with you, if you were to look at this Community Day on paper, there really is a lot to be disappointed by, and it just seems almost unanimous that everyone is just very unhappy with the direction that Niantic is going when it comes to Community Days. Now recently I put out a video talking about what I believe Niantic is doing when it comes to community days moving forward and it seems like this particular community day is going alongside with the trend that I brought up. More specifically I really feel like Niantic is starting to gear away from their usual patterns when it comes to community days and they're moving more towards old shinies making a return through these community days. And yeah, with Roselia being the February Community Day, this really seems like the direction that Niantic is going. Now the big problem with Roselia being a Community Day Pokemon is actually threefold. First and foremost, this is a repeat shiny, so naturally players are going to be very disappointed by it. But not only is it a repeat shiny, but it's a shiny that a lot of players consider to be a really common shiny. When shiny Roselia was first introduced, it was through an in-game event that somewhat was like a community day and this meant that a lot of players were sitting on a ton of shiny Roselias already to begin with. And I think because of that people were just initially disappointed by having Roselia be a community day. There's so many other shinies, even repeat shinies, that could have been a much better community day. But instead of going with any of those, Niantic decided to go with Roselia. For example, they could have gone with a generic Pokemon like Pidgey or Talo. I think a lot of these generic Pokemon would have been very well received. We saw this last year with Weedle and I honestly feel like if Niantic is trying to deviate away from their original pattern then they should have picked something like that. But there's just something about Roselia that just makes it a very bad pick. Now the second big issue that a lot of players have with Roselia is of course its meta relevance when it comes to being a grass type attacker. Yes it is a very powerful Pokemon in PvE situations but when they give it moves like Weather Ball they're trying to make it viable in PvP. The big problem with that is of course that Roserade is not going to be as strong as Pokemon like Cherim in the Great League and then Pokemon like Venusaur are going to outclass it in the Ultra League. There is a slight possibility that it could have some kind of relevance in the Premier League of the Master League but we really do not know. I mean there's still going to be better grass type attackers but in general unless you're going up against Pokemon like Swampert constantly there really isn't going to be a moment where you're going to need Roserade over any other Pokemon. And sure, Roserade with Weather Ball will give it a lot more options and a lot more coverage in PvP, but like I said, there's already really good grass options that you could utilize in the different leagues. So yeah, I don't know if it's a big missed opportunity, but when it comes to Roserade, even by giving it Weather Ball, there just really isn't that big of a significance in using this Pokemon in any of the PvP leagues. 
leagues, but at least when it comes to being a raid attacker, it is getting a new quick move, and I do think that this particular quick move is going to make it a very powerful grass type attacker, so we at least have that. And of course, the third big problem that a lot of players have with Roselia being a community day, well, it could have been any Pokemon rather, but the big problem that a lot of players are bringing up is that it really feels like Niantic is out of touch with their community. I mean, there's been so many different Pokemon that players have been clamoring for for a community day, like Gibble and Axu and Dino, but a lot of these Pokemon are getting constantly overlooked for community days. Even for repeat shinies and Pokemon that already had a community day, there's certainly Pokemon that a lot of players would like to see return to community day. For example, Beldum gets constantly brought up, even Dratini. A lot of these Pokemon are old community day shinies, and a lot of players missed out on them on the first go around. So a lot of players would love to see these Pokemon return as a community day, but instead of going with any of that, Niantic decided to go with an obscure Pokemon that a lot of players already have a lot of shinies of. And I think that's a pretty big issue, considering the fact that even in the initial blog post, there was a little corp about how Niantic is actually paying attention to the community, and they're taking the community feedback into consideration when they pick these community day Pokemon. And it really seems like that was in poor taste, considering that having Roselia as a community day seems the complete opposite of that notion. It really seems like Niantic, instead of paying attention to what the community wants, is giving us a Pokemon that absolutely nobody asked for. So yeah, these are some of the big issues that a lot of players are bringing up, and in some ways, I tend to agree with them. In a vacuum, I do think that this community day is a bit of a wash. I don't really find myself being that excited about it, but at the same time, I have to be honest with you guys, I'm not exactly disappointed by this either. There are actually one or two things that I could think of that you could actually look forward to when it comes to this community day. I think a lot of players are overlooking the fact that Roserade is still a very powerful grass type attacker when it comes to raids and when it comes to Groudon and a lot of other Pokemon that are about to come out. I really feel like having a whole bunch of Roserades are going to make those raids a lot easier, which means remote raids and public raids are definitely going to be a lot more doable with less players and I really feel like when it comes to Roserade there's just a lot of benefits to having a whole bunch of these maxed out. And then of course if you want to max out Roserade you're going to need a whole bunch of XL candies and this is a perfect opportunity for you to farm up on these candies. Imagine if you had a full team of 6 level 49 Roserades. You're going to absolutely crush raids like Kyogre and Groudon which, let me remind you, are actually going to be in raid battles for a limited time. But of course the timing is pretty poor considering that both of these Pokemon are going to be in raid battles and they're going to be going away before Roserade is highlighted as a community day, so that's a little bit of poor timing and poor planning on Niantic's part. But regardless of the fact, in the future when Groudon and Kyogre return to raids, having a whole bunch of maxed out Roserades is definitely going to help you out. And then of course the second thing that I could think of to actually look forward to when it comes to this community day is of course shiny Budu. One of the big bonuses of this community day is the fact that they're going to be giving you quarter hatch distance which means you're going to be able to hatch a lot more eggs than usual and just like with Elekid and Electabuzz and Magby with Magmar these particular kinds of community days are going to give you the best odds at getting shiny babies. So if you're missing shiny Budu like I am this is going to be your opportunity to get this Pokemon. So yeah, that's one thing to look forward to. All in all, I am pretty indifferent and pretty neutral when it comes to Roselia. There is a 98% lucky shiny that I have that I would really like to max out. And I also have a couple of hundos and a couple of high IV Roserades that I would also like to max out for future raids. So this is definitely going to be a prime opportunity for me to farm up XL candies. So yeah, that's really kind of how I'm looking at it. There's really not much to be excited about, but there's really not much to be disappointed about, at least in
in my opinion. Of course, this community day is going to be coming in a very stacked month. We're also going to be having our Kanto event that month. So there's a lot to look forward to in February aside from this community day. And of course, it does fall on one of the busiest weekends of the year. It's going to coincide with the Super Bowl, which of course is an activity that a lot of players look forward to, at least in the United States. So I can understand that for them to put out a Pokemon that not a lot of players really care about is kind of a good thing if you look at it from a big picture point of view. And then of course we still have the pandemic ongoing so if they are going to do community days right now while people are still locked down and they can't even go out to play then yeah I would rather it be a Pokemon that's not going to be uber exciting like a new shiny or even a Pokemon like Dino or Gibble or Axu. I would rather have these circumstances be the most ideal for some of these special Pokemon that could potentially be a community day and I really wonder if Niantic is fully aware of that but I really feel like they did drop the ball a little bit when it came to this particular community day and the way they announced it as well. Some little bits of additional communication would have been nice. Heck they could have even owned up to it and say hey maybe this is not going to be the most exciting community day but be patient there's going to be better ones in the future so just enjoy this while you can. And this one's mainly for people who still do not have shiny Roserade. They could have said anything like that and it would have gone a lot better than what they tried to do where they just tried to announce this as some sort of amazing hyped up community day and it really just backfired in their face because like I said nobody really asked for this and nobody really wanted this so yeah. Anyway that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that Niantic just bounces back from this and I know that they can. Like I said there is a lot to look forward to in February so I really think that even with this one misstep Niantic still has a lot of great things in store for us as players but yeah let me know your thoughts down below regarding this particular community day are you going to be farming up those XL candies for those raid DPS Roserades or are you going to completely skip this one let me know down below and yeah really hope you enjoyed this video everyone I am Count Jinsula be safe have fun and I'll catch you all later